Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums, and uh, I've been getting a lot of comments lately on how do I get rid of my nitrates or my nitrites still reading this, and my tank has been up for two months, and I still have brown algae, and so on and so forth. So. I wasn't going to do a video, but I figured let's do a mass aquariums version of the nitrogen cycle and how you can cycle cycle a new tank or if you have multiple tanks already, uh, how to quickly cycle a tank. Because a lot of, well, all you experts out there that watch my channel, you guys already know how to cycle the tank and what the whole nitrogen cycle is. but some beginners have a lot of questions and I'm gonna to try to break it down. I'm gonna try not to ramble uh, but you know that's gonna happen anyway. So the nitrogen cycle right you have a new tank all you have in it is water and maybe some fake plants maybe some rock your filters going maybe you have some live plants in there but you don't have the beneficial bacteria in your tank to take care of fish waste. Now what does that what does that even mean? Your fish, they swim around in your tank, they pee and poo. Now, if you don't have the bacteria to break that down, your fish are basically swimming in a toilet. Really. You know, take a giant dump in a giant toilet and take a swim in it. Take a big swimming pool, have tw you know, 2,500 people take a shit in it, and then you go take a swim in that, and, uh, you know, tell me how that, what that feels like. So, I know, I'm exaggerating, but your fish produce ammonia, and then nitrite will break down the ammonia. Nitrate will break down the nitrites, and nitrate is what you want in your tank to a certain extent. And when you reach a certain threshold, it's usually in... PPM, which is parts per million, is when you want to do a water change. So, there's many ways to cycle tanks. Um, if you start off with zero fish and you just let the tank go by itself, you know, certain dust will ac accumulate in your tank. Uh, there will be organisms that just are just basic in life that will end up in your tank and will produce ammonia and nitrite will break down that ammonia and nitrate will break down the nitrites and your tank will be cycled. However, that takes a very, very long time. There's plenty of ways to cycle a tank. Let's start off with if you, this is your very first tank. You can get some media from a friend's tank that has been in his filter. He has his tank cycled for however long. You can take some of his media, put it in your tank, and that can cycle your tank pretty quickly. Me, I have multiple tanks going all over the place. I just uh, take media from one tank, split it in half, put it into the next tank, add my fish, the ammonia that they produce from their waste I have beneficial bacteria that's going to take care of that right away. So it's basically instant cycle, uh, days, you know, one or two days. But there's a few methods that I've learned through my buddies and through YouTube, and I hope you guys will learn this from me. Uh, if you have a brand new tank, you can literally go buy ammonia at the store and drop little bits of ammonia in your tank which will start your cycle and your beneficials will slowly build up adding ammonia to your tank. Uh, one of my friends has done the shrimp version which you go to the seafood place in your supermarket buy a raw shrimp you the plastic container it comes in poke a few holes in it and you just dump that in your tank and it breaks down and all the bacteria will just start to crazily mouth that. Uh, you'll get an ammonia spike, you'll get a nitrite spike, and then your nitrates will come off, boom, remove that shrimp, do a water change, and add your fish. 
I've seen that happen before. You can do a fish cycle. A lot of people don't like fish cycles. You can buy really hardy, hardy fish like uh, your mollies or your danios. Um, platties are very hardy and you throw them in your tank. They can withstand that ammonia, which can be a little torturous to the fish, but they will not die. And then in a few weeks, your tank will be cycled. Those fish will most likely still be alive. And there you have it. You don't have to just sit with an empty tank for a month or two months or however long. Uh, I've done them all, with the exception of the shrimp thing. I have not done the shrimp thing. But I'm very impatient. I cannot just have a tank sit there empty and just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Uh, I'll go to my local fish store. I'll say, hey, let me just, can I get some media from one of these tanks? Or if one of my saltwater tanks, can I borrow a rock for a little while? Take a sponge, squeeze the sponge out in your tank. You know, there's many ways to get that nitrogen cycle going and get your tank cycled quickly. You can experiment with any way you want, uh, cruel or not. Some people don't like fish cycles because it's cruel to the fish. They're suffering. Um, some people prefer to just be patient and let it out, wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. Uh, that's not me. I'm sure that's not you. When you get everybody in the fish hobby knows, especially freshwater, there's no patience. Saltwater, you have to have some patience. Freshwater, you can really set up a tank in a day or two and get some fish in there and probably be perfectly fine with some hardy fish. Especially if you have tanks all over your house, you can get that tank cycled in two days and have it up and running. So, that's enough rambling. I hope I answered all those comments I've been receiving over nitrogen cycle and cycling a tank. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Comments, leave them down below. And as usual, this is Mike from Mass. I'm out.